Hi everybody, welcome back and uh, thanks for, for watching the videos. This will be a wrap up video. Um, installation of the Bear Creek Canvas Top. Um, I want to say Bear Creek Canvas was wonderful to work with and I was just impressed to unbelievably in the quality of the canvas, the quality of the workmanship, made in USA and it shows. Couldn't be happier. It was wonderful. Um, so this video will be putting that on and it's not easy. I come up with some tricks and tips and uh, shortcuts and did it by myself. You don't need a helper. If you have one, great. I didn't. But you don't need one and uh, it went on very successfully and without a hitch after I figured a couple things out and hopefully it'll help you too so uh, watch a video stick around uh, after the uh, installation of the canvas I'll show a series a little slide show of the final finished uh, camper renovation the staging and upholstery and bedding and ready to go. So anyway, stay tuned. Okay, so today's the day. Um, I ordered a new canvas top for uh, my Coleman. It's a 1970 Coleman uh, 480. Um, and I've been restoring it and today's the day the canvas will arrive from Bear Creek Canvas in Minnesota. And uh, boy, they've been wonderful to deal with so far. Uh, if when the canvas gets here, it's half as good as their customer care and customer service, I'm going to be happy. I'll be a happy camper. Anyway, um, I'm going to put the top up now. The uh, canvas should be here within an hour or two and uh, we'll do a video of installing the canvas. The old one's been off. Uh, it was all rotted and mouse eaten and torn up and all the little things are pretty well done. Uh, propane's on. I tested the stove. I uh, hooked up a new faucet on the sink and it pumps water and new upholstery and so Canvas is really the last major thing to do. Be back when it gets here. Alrighty. So UPS man just came. Yay! So, it's the right color. We're looking good so far. Be back. Okay, so head scratch here. Figured out what goes where is a challenge. We'll get it. Uh, so I stretched this all out and kind of looks like this should be the door. So that'll be this section between the door and the bed canvas, which is zippered separately here, or to separate them. So, we'll separate them. There we go. And although all the videos I watched said you should have two people to do this, I don't have two people. I have me. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, I have to get people. 
So that bottom just slides in like so. And it goes right to the end there. That makes sense. And that's the inside. And then this top, excuse me for making you sick there looking all around. This top, the way I understand it, should just snap into that groove. Boy, that isn't going to go in easy. All right, that works. You get the top in first and then the bottom. This is where it'd be nice to have somebody to hold that other end, but we're getting it. Again, pardon me for looking around and making you sick here. I think that needs to come over a little. And maybe even a little more, and that wasn't good. I should have. Ah, oh, that ain't gonna slide. Shoot. Should have started right at the edge of the door, and I didn't. So, now we gotta pay. Now we gotta learn from that. Good practice, though. About 89 degrees today, but 90% humidity. So there's, there's your weather forecast. Hot, humid, and hazy. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm 
I'm going to keep at this a little bit and then I'll be back. Okay, so that's what I need. But what I'm finding is, if you can see it, right here, that bottom lip isn't snapping in. And boy, I'm trying everything I can to get it in there and can't. So, as in all things that are tight, we're going to lube it and see if that helps. Be back. Okay, that helped a lot. I've got it about halfway. And I also, I gotta correct myself here, discovered that uh, hooking the bottom first works out better. And then where it's really tough, you can get here and squeeze between the track and the rubber to snap it in with pliers, with channel locks. Uh, It gets it there. So, I'll be back. Okay, I got it. That wasn't easy. Uh, I don't know. Some maybe may say it shouldn't have been that hard. Some might not have that hard of trouble. I did. Uh, and another person wouldn't have helped anything with what I've done so far. Because uh, it was just tight snapping into the track. And uh, what I did do after I learned a little bit. First of all, I you know had Vaseline in my hands. And I got a little bit of greasy fingerprints. I quit doing that. And I started folding this flap down. And where I used pliers for some places that were really being stubborn, uh, I just squeezed the rubber, not the canvas in it. And I quit leaving oily handprints down that direction. And so you live and learn. Uh, it is a little loose. Uh, I don't know how you could even fasten it to the door as it is, but they said it would be. They said it would be, and that it uh, first few times it is wet, it will shrink and tighten up and fit better than it does now. And I can see how that's highly probable. Not to mention the fact, if it hadn't been as loose as it was, I'd have never got that in that track. Having that extra slack helped a lot. So that's where we're at. On to the next panel. Maybe it'll get easier. I hope so. I'll be back. All right, so that's about two and a half hours. Uh, that was an SOB. Uh, you can see I got dirty, sweaty fingerprints on the white vinyl up there, and I scratched the ceiling there some. And I'll fix it. I'll wash the vinyl and uh, and touch up the paint there on the ceiling. But that just tells you what a battle that was, getting it in that track. That was a bitch. Sorry. Uh, but let me also add, the first time I'm camping somewhere and we got 40 mile an hour winds, I'm going to be really glad that fastens into that track as firmly as it does. So... On to the next panel. Uh, that's the big picture window side. I'll be back. All right, so I just noticed that a uh, little caddy wampus bag here. So I readjusted that where the bow hits. Uh, that's a little better. And I'm ready to put that next big panel on. I'll be back. So, the National Weather Service said 
5% chance of rain and the highest wind I saw was about four or five mile an hour. Uh, we just had a gust come through, it was about 25 or 30, and it's raining. Uh, I think I got everything covered good enough. I, I kind of like the canvas to get wet and shrink, so I hate to close it clear up. I'm hoping it quits raining here in a few minutes. Uh, the main canvas that, uh, or the part of the canvas that isn't attached yet is under the roof, so it shouldn't shrink before it's on, it shouldn't get wet. A little bit of the vinyl here on the very end is all, and I'm hoping that works. And if it starts getting worse, I'm going to stand here in the rain and close it totally up. But that's where we're at. Yeah, there's your five mile an hour winds. Alright, so fast forward uh, about 18 hours, that little shower turned into a heck of a thunderstorm and it rained like a cow pissing on a flat rock. So I had to go into panic mode. I did the best I could to get the, the tarp uh, where it would work and the top down and I don't know how wet it might have got inside I hope not at all but anyway uh, next morning <laughs> I got my coffee uh, I think we're gonna be okay for the rest of today as far as rain so uh, I get this thing back up and uh, <laughs> Like I said, I did the best I could fast. Because it rained. Man, did it rain. Okay, I'll be back and show you how well I did as far as keeping it dry inside. Okay, life's good. Uh, <laughs> one little dribble there. And I think I did that off the plastic, moving it. Uh... Totally stayed dry, all the upholstery stayed dry. We're good. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Uh, there's where I left off. I gotta get that, that side, the top done. So I'm gonna have my coffee, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I thought I'd explain a little better how these panels go in. Uh, each section, like between the door and the where the post is that supports the roof that's one panel and then where the the bed cover is a separate panel and then from that support post right right here where this zipper is to the other support post is another panel and they zip apart to put them in so like when i put this panel in i'm not sure i videoed it and i don't I don't think I did, but anyway, to start the panel, the bottom of the panel has a hem with like a cord sewn into the hem. And that cord starts at the end and slides across in that track. So you bring the whole panel over, slid into the track with that hem fastened down, and then bring it up. And then in theory, the videos I showed or saw um, and by the way there's velcro where this attaches and after you have the panel in and up you zip zip it to the other panel that holds it in place anyway and in theory the videos I saw just showed snapping this in with your fingers I'm here to tell you that ain't happening on this 
Uh, I don't know why, maybe this model is harder than any of the other ones. It ain't happening. Maybe it's just because I'm an old man and I'm weak. I don't know. But what I did come up with was this. If you take a hammer and you set the track right where it needs to be and you just tap it gently like that you can get that strip to lock on to the bottom of that aluminum track. Then, you take vice grips, channel locks, whatever you got, and you get like that and squeeze it. Now, I pulled the canvas down. And it's going to mark the rubber a little bit, but that flap covers all that. But I didn't pinch the canvas in there. That's how I get it snapped in. And that's in good. And yeah, I'm marking the ceiling. Can't help it. Did that all along here too. And I'm just gonna go back over and touch up the paint. And it's worth it because I don't know how else I'm ever gonna get that track in there or that, uh, that strip into the track. But this works. And I also have a little Vaseline smeared on that track which makes it go in way easier than it goes in without the Vaseline. Uh, just a little tip, tip for you there. See how that works? That works real good. But it is not going to happen by hand. Now that's locked in totally. There we go. So we just got to keep going. I'll be back. Okay, so now you can see this is all snapped into place completely to here. And now from here over the whole way, I've got that bottom lip hooked over that track where I tap it with the hammer. Uh, now I just need to snap it in place. Okay, so that's totally snapped into place. Uh, I got to fix, replace, do something with these uh, little straps and hooks that hold the door up when you're folding it up. But I have that yet to do. Um, I get the canvas on, I'll work on that. So, uh, I know I should wait till I get across here but that's just bugging the hell out of me so I'm gonna touch that paint up and then start the next panel I'll be back and yes that paint will match when it dries
All right, I feel better. How about you? Uh, and as that dries, it'll blend in. You'll never see it. Uh, there you go. So, on to the next panel. Okay, so here's how you turn a two-man job into a one-man job. Uh, a couple of C-clamps. And it holds it in place for you while you're getting everything situated. And of course, you don't want to turn that too tight and close that track any for God's sakes. Okay, so now, now we gotta go around to the outside here. And I'll show you what I was talking about. Normally, I would do the bottom first, but on this one, it's such a short little piece that goes in there. I can do it now, or I can do it after the fact. Uh, right here, see this? This hem right here has like a cord sewn into it. Same as over here, this. And this slides into this track like so. And that holds the bottom down. Now this snap goes to there. And once again, I am so impressed with Bear Creek Canvas. Everything's exactly where it needs to be. Uh, and then I'll have to zip this together from the inside and we'll be all set. Okay. Just like that. And there's a Velcro tab here at the top. It holds those together. Now this is the first rubber tab. Oh, there is one here too. Okay, so we need to fasten this rubber into the track and this rubber into the track on that side and then we go around the corner. And once again, Get your bottom started with the hammer and then this is all snapped in clear to the corner these two this one and this one are in now we're good so it just occurred to me we're at about halfway point with the track snapped in but over here this is a lot longer piece that slides in like it did over here. So I'm going to leave some slack here. Maybe, eh, we'll see if I can do it without taking that clamp off. But I need to get that bottom track in while I still have a lot of slack to work with. So, we're over here now. Huh. Hey, go live out in the wilderness. There you go. 
All right, so right here is the seam. No, no, where is it? Yeah, that's the door track. So that's the seam here. And this is actually, there is a zipper here. So this little panel to the door is actually a separate panel, but it's so small, I'm just gonna leave it on there and go. Anyway, so. And get your hem and cord to slid into the bottom track. And then this one, this other panel, needs to do the same thing. And I'm going to have to unzip it some to be able to do that. There we go. Here's where the uh, rubber in the door snaps into the track there along the edge of the door. And we'll put that there now so we make sure it reaches the door. And I'm going to put a clamp on there somewhere so it doesn't undo itself. Hey, we're getting closed in. It's getting dark in here. Oh, let's see. This all goes up here. So we'll just stick a clamp there. Okay, now we just gotta finish it top. Okay, this really shows a lot. Um, this side along the, the, this panel uh, that came, comes over to the door was on and up yesterday when it started raining. So this canvas got wet on the outside. Uh, today, it fits perfectly. But yesterday, it was just like this side. Uh, see how I had to take it loose here from the door to get that top track in because the canvas came up above the track. When that gets wet, that's going to fit like that side. I, don't, I have no idea how... Bear Creek Canvas knows exactly how much extra to leave, but boy, they're on it. Okay, so all the tracks fastened. We're good. Uh, didn't even scratch that. I guess I had a little more clearance. Maybe I got better at it. I don't know. Uh, one little nick right there. That's it. So, okay, I'll be back. Okay, there it is, ready for camping. I cleaned out all my tools, swept the beds off, swept the floor. Uh, here's the big picture window. I had the plastic open, but I've closed it now. But uh, 
works great everything works wonderfully as far as I know we'll find out this weekend here's our one little electrical outlet we do have electric hookup and water to say no dump which we don't need so there you have it oh propane tank is full and ready to go